Hello. Uh, today I'm going to show how we can run Fortran in the Codeblox. Codeblox is a popular IDE which can run C, C++, or Fortran. And uh, many users uh, may find it difficult to run Fortran in the Codeblox, especially when they are debugging code. So I'm going to show the process of how we can but first of all, you have to download and install code blocks and make sure that you download the main GW setup for the code blocks because in this setup, the main GW portion of the main GW files are, uh, are integrated with the code blocks. And in this way, you don't have to worry about uh, uh, installing the main GW again from another kind of source. And only I will try to uh, run, the, run the code blocks with the main GW and then I tried to install main GW and run again later, but it didn't match and it didn't work. So I uh, suggested you uh, to uh, download and install the code blocks with the main GW setup. And in this way, you have the integrated main GW setup with the code blocks and you don't need to worry about the functions or something like that. So uh, I have already configured my code blocks for my uh, Fortran operation, and I am now just showing uh, the way you can do it. You have to go to the settings, and in the settings, we need to be concerned about two things one is the compiler, and another is the debugger. So, first of all, let's go to the compiler, and as you can see, the compiler is GNU GCC compiler here, but to run Fortran, we need to uh, so we, are, we need to have the GNG Fortran compiler. So from the document, we will just find the compiler for running the Fortran application. And this is the GNG Fortran compiler. So you can select the GNG Fortran compiler. And after that, you will have to go to the toolchain executables. The toolchain executables is basically the exe files that connects the GNU compiler with the main GW uh, exe, which we should need and we will be needed for, uh, for running our Fortran. So first of all, we have to select the compilation directory. As you can see, the compilation directory here is uh, C program files for blocks in the WP. And I am not showing how it can access it. So first of all, you can have look at the C, so the files, code blocks, so the folder is here. Secondly, you for the first three options, you have to select the G portion and execute the files. So you have to go to the drop down menu and you have to find the NGW under your code setting. So you have to go to the computer, look at this. So on files and here is the code box and the code box here is the main GW setup and in the main GW we we'll go to the game action and in the game we will try to find our version uh, exe okay uh, for the rest of the two for the next two which one which is the C plus plus compiler and the linkers we should select the G portal exe also okay so for just Change the three of the exe, it will make to run the GPortion compiler. I am also setting GPortion compiler as the default so that I don't have to change it every time. Okay, and okay. So our compiler is set up. Uh, next, we have to set the debugger. debugger and uh, for every time, we will be using the GTD debugger. So we just go to this default condition. And you have to select the executable path. Uh, tell code blocks where it will find the uh, debugger file so that it can debug your code. And for this, you have to follow the same procedure. Go to computer, go to this, go to files, code blocks, upload, and you have to find the GDB exe file. And yeah, this is the GDP file. Okay. So, yeah, I have defined the file and uh, my code block is also 
So uh, that's, I am not showing how we can run on the virtual code here. Uh, so that you understand that my progress is working to the first So let's go to create a new project, virtual application. We can go next, I uh, have to select a project title and set test so go to the next gna the total component and finish okay so now in the my first project for transverses this is the main fn2 so i will just uh, need to show that everything is working properly first of all let's check the uh, component is working properly so and here is the building port. You can just modify it. Okay, just uh, just the name and language. Okay. My code is working properly now. We are here to see if my debugger is working properly. So in order to do so, I am just writing a few line ports. For example, port name it is out okay and yeah and uh, uh, running a loop okay I mean from from Uh, it's just a simple code and the strategy right so that we can show you how you can develop a code. So this is my code. First of all, let's check whether it runs fine. So we have to set the bill and the run token. Yeah, it works just fine. And we are now that uh, how you can debug it. So to debug it, you need to you can do it in various way. Uh, first of all, uh, you can uh, set your point here and set land to cursor. Yeah. So we are dividing this first. So whether it is working properly or not, we have to see some dividing results. So we have to go to the debugger and then we have to go to the dividing windows and we have to click the watches. Oh, yeah. So as you can see that my locals i is equal to zero. Yeah, I have uh, um, debugger is zero. So you can just skip down to the next line. You can do it right here. We put like this. And my i is one. And next line, okay. My i is two. You can just like this debug it here. So as you can see my debugger, so I can just stop it, stop my debugger. Okay, I have stopped my debugger. So as you can see that both my uh, compiler and debugger is working properly. So in this way you can easily install code blocks and also integrate the portal ID of the executable and you can make the 